what what do we usually talk on like like the kids or the family? Well, the kids have their time that they talk to their father, and then of course I have my time, and mm -hmm. so. He'll just tell us what the day has been like, mm -hmm. and you know that he misses the kids. Mm -hmm. We catch up with what's going on back at home. Yeah, and did he talk about something that about China and CBA to you? Um, yes, he said that you know he said I, I asked him I said well how is it, and he says it's so much better than what he thought. Mm -hmm. He says that um, it's been he's had an amazing time. Mm -hmm. And he says that he didn't realize the CBA was such a, a great organization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, um, the anything that he really can't, you know, use to, because this culture or you know, people that are totally different mm -hmm. from the states, right? Yes, he says he's still learning. Mm -hmm. He, um, because he's here, he wants to do, you know, what's most customary here without. Offending, you know, so yeah. it's a learning experience. Learning what's customary here may not be the same as customary back home. Uh -huh. So it's learning. It's a learning process. So did he show his Chinese ability to you? His what? His Chinese language. Yes, he had said a couple things. I'm like, how did you say that? Um, he said a couple words, and mm -hmm. uh, I just I had to laugh because he it, his accent sounds exactly like uh -huh. a, a Chinese accent. So, so. Do you understand that? I didn't understand it, but the uh, the Chinese did. So I was like, oh, okay, oh, okay. And but you today we went to eat, and uh -huh. he asked for ice, and he asked for it in Chinese. Yeah, ping. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So you now you also learned that I know ping. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So um, you know, by coming to this lake, so it's so different from India. You mm -hmm. know, he has he has been played for 15 years yeah. in India, and then coming to Sydney is a totally new environment. Totally new league, so the level is different. Yeah. So what do you think of? Is this good for him to come here because he play more time here? Um, it's excellent for him to be here. Um, I feel like that everything has worked out exactly mm -hmm. the way it's supposed to work out. Mm -hmm. um, again, we didn't know in the beginning that he would be coming here, but I'm a firm believer, and things happen the way they should happen. I think by being here. Um, He's going to learn so much, even just not even about basketball, but just mm -hmm. life skills, coping skills, maneuvering yeah. in a new situation. Um, so I think it's an awesome, uh, awesome opportunity. So do you know he's a superstar here? Uh, if I didn't know, now I know that I'm here. <laughs> he's very popular here. Yes, and again, we're you know we're just grateful and very humbled for the opportunity and that everyone receives from the way they do. Um, it's you know, we don't take it for granted. Mm -hmm. It's very humbling, and we're just honored that people respect him and look up to him the way they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so it's been exciting to watch that. Yeah. So uh, some people are talking about that maybe Tracy that you were he's home so much, so maybe he will run away in the um, middle of the season. No. And go with the family. No. He's he's a professional, mm -hmm. and even though he missed his home, he would never do that. Oh. He his loyalty now is to you guys. Mm -hmm. He's professional and he's loyal to you, so he's not gonna run away. Oh. If he oh. runs away, I'll send him back. Oh, okay. <laughs> then we will yeah. give him here again. Yeah. So you know that you are you are a, a great family that that with four kids. Yeah. That's really you know nice. Mm -hmm. So um, know that you need to take care of the kids yeah. and then. Uh, Tracy said that he he spent of almost that um, ninety ninety percent of the time at home. Mm -hmm. So he's really a great husband and father. Yes, he is. The, yes. He is great. <laughs> Absolutely, he's um, a, a great husband, a wonderful father. Um, when we're at home, you know, we just enjoy each other's company, and he's home a lot with us, and mm -hmm. loves to play with his kids and just spend time at home. So can you use some words to describe him that as a husband and a father? Um, as a father, I would say he's engaging with the kids. Mm -hmm. um, he plays the kids. He likes mm -hmm. to do fun things with the kids. Um, <clears throat> he enforces the rules with the kids, so he's mm -hmm. a disciplinarian. Mm -hmm. um, as a husband, he's very affectionate. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he's <clears throat> very tender and very kind. As a matter of fact, when I came here, I didn't realize it, but he was—he uh, surprised me because he was in the van waiting for me. Yeah. 
So that was good. And uh, so, and as soon as I came here, uh, you know, he knew I had, was on a 17-hour flight, so he gave me a good massage. Oh. So yeah, it's very, very kind-hearted. So what's the feeling that when you hug together at the moment? So fireworks. <laughs> You know okay. your Chinese New Year here when you have fireworks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, so that's how it was like. We know that right now. <laughs> the you know that's so sweet that yeah. those fans saw the pictures and they thought, oh, that's that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So now that we know that you you have four kids, you know, Lay Layla, mm -hmm. Layman, uh -huh. Lacy, uh -huh. Layda. Oh my gosh! Most people get that mixed up. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. right. So from the oldies to the youngest. Yeah. Yeah, so we saw that layman play one on one with his yeah. father on the home call, on, yeah. on, on the call that at home, right? Mm -hmm. So do snack layman will you know get his father in the you, you know also to be a professional player in the future? You know what? I encourage layman to be the best at whatever it is that he wants to be. Mm -hmm. Right now, he loves basketball. Yeah, he loves it. So I don't know if he'll want to be a basketball player. If he does, I'll encourage that and support him, but we don't know. But right now he loves playing basketball. Because mm -hmm. Chasey is so a talented player, mm -hmm. and then we thought that he would deliver his everything to the boys. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they both love basketball. They both and they both play basketball in the mm -hmm. kids' league at home. Uh -huh. yeah. So that, that, you know, that everybody that thinks that being a NBA player's wife isn't that easy. So it seems that the, 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 you know, that it looks that really great, but we want to know the inner thought that of a uh, NBA wife mm -hmm. from you. Um, you know what? I don't know. It's, um, there's so much attention being put on NBA wives, mm -hmm. but you know what? Um, NBA wives are just like a banker's wife or grocery store person's wife or yeah. businessman's wife. Uh -huh. um, a wife is a wife, you know. Um, I think what people focus on is just the amount of time mm -hmm. that we're away from each other and the different yeah. challenges. And because athletes can be up into the spotlight, mm -hmm. you know, there's different components that I guess an athlete's wife um, has that maybe another wife doesn't. Yeah. You enjoy each other yeah. and enjoy life and just like the calm Right. Yeah, you can't worry about things you can't change. Mm -hmm. While I'm at home, I don't worry about what's he doing in China because I know he's playing basketball, he's making yeah. a living. So you you being always supporting him. Yes. Yeah. There's it's no other thing to do. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. I encourage him to come here. I mm -hmm. know one of my friends was like, he's gonna go to China. You can't let him go there. I'm like, no. I encourage him to go to China. Yeah. It's his dream. It's what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. So. As a wife, you have to be encouraging and supporting. That's a great, really a great wife. Mm -hmm. um, you well, are, I try. <laughs> you have you have did a very good job. Oh, uh, well, thank you. <laughs> and then that you know you you are really a, a a great wife and a great mother. So, a pretty large China. So a lot of you know there are some people that are coming to China to adopt those. Homeless kids. Mm -hmm. So, have you ever thought of that? Because really You know what? That's funny you said that. I had a dream about that last night. Oh. I dreamt that we adopted a Chinese baby last night. Oh. Yeah, it was crazy. So, I know your dream. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Um, I'll never say never. It's nothing that we really talked about, but I don't know. I did have that dream last night. Oh. So, that's oh. funny that you mentioned that. <laughs> so, just let you tell Tracy that. Try to adopt. A we'll see. We'll see what he says. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And you are going to play Shanghai against yeah. Shanghai Sharks. This Yaomi's team. Mm -hmm. Yao is the boss of the team. Yes. You know that. Yes. So will you go out? You book two, the two couples go out to see. Them? I don't know. We haven't talked about it. I would love to see Yao and his wife. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, we can arrange that. I think that would be nice. Oh. So you you. You both live in Houston and in Sutherland. So mm -hmm. when when you when they were playing Houston, mm -hmm. practice together for six years. So have you ever you know go to each other's home? You know what? Um, we actually have not. I think during the season it's so fast paced. They're so busy. Mm -hmm. They're on the road a lot more than in the CBA, and uh, we just never made time. 
just oh, because okay. the schedules are so busy. And then in the off season, yeah, I would come back here. Yeah. Yeah. So you, really, you don't really have time to go to the We side. just, yeah. You know, I guess you can really make time to do what you want to do, but we just never made the time. Oh, yeah, okay. So. so we hope that you can meet each other yeah, again in Shanghai. Definitely. Okay. Y'all will treat you, you both to a great dinner. Ah, uh, that would be nice. Yeah, I think so. Too. I don't think I could. I've been, all I've been doing is eating here, really great <laughs> food, so I'm about Shanghai. to pop open. <laughs> Shanghai is y'all's place, so he, he, I think he's going to treat you well. <laughs> and so, um, how, how many days are you staying here? Um, I don't have much time. I leave on Monday. So after... Shanghai After Shanghai, yeah. Before from Shanghai mm -hmm. to the States. Yes. So you're gonna miss Chasey a Of course, lot. of course. So you're going back with the kids? Yeah, I'm planning on coming back with them. Um, they have a break in December, their holiday Christmas break. Yeah. So I'm hopefully can bring them then uh, if their schedule permits it. I know they'll be traveling around that time, but hopefully we can coordinate it. So. That's your first time to spend Christmas Day in China. Yeah, yeah. So, have you ever thought of that? I've never thought of that, but there's a first time for everything. So, you got a plan or not? So, you, you got a plan that when you come here, because that we spend, you know, spring, spring festival, so yeah. like uh, the people in America, they, they spend Christmas Day. Yeah. So... <coughs> we, we wish that you can spend a very happy Christmas day. Yeah, I would like to come here for the Spring Fest. I'd love to be a part of that. So I hope that we can see you again. Yeah. Too. Those, with those adorable kids. Um, they're sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, yes, thank you for, you know, coming here to make an interview with us. Oh. And then we hope to see you again coming to make this talking with the fans. Yeah, for thank you for... Thinking enough of me to want me to be here. Um, Thank you so much, Karen. Privilege. Thank you. Thank you.